as a novel, I enjoyed it. Thought it was great, great page turner. It's written that way, chapters two and three pages long. No, I couldn't put it down. It's not meant to be history. It was full of a great deal of silliness. It's a novel, it's fiction, and it's entertainment. I just took it for granted, of course, that people would see that this was just fiction. church never wanted to lose the fact that Jesus was human. This man was more than just one of us. He was one of us, but there's something more to understanding who Jesus was. Nowhere in any ancient text is there ever any claim that Jesus was married. There's never a reference to a wife. Jesus wasn't married. There's no evidence for it. There's ample evidence from within the New Testament as well as even pagan sources, critics of early Christianity, that the Christians believed Jesus was divine. One widespread misconception about Mary Magdalene is that she was a prostitute. Every single woman sinner who appears in the New Testament has now been thrown into the basket of Mary Magdalene. There is no place in the New Testament where Mary Magdalene is portrayed as a prostitute. Mary Magdalene was a person who either inherited money or earned money. She's one of the wealthy women who supported Jesus. There is no suggestion that Jesus and Mary Magdalene were married. Jesus, in a sense, sends Mary out to announce what is the mystery and the bedrock of Christian faith. The four Gospels are well and truly in place as accepted scripture already by the middle of the second century. Constantine and Nicaea have nothing to do with it. For Gnosticism, there's a small group of specially illuminated people. They are not saved because of the saving action of Jesus. They are saved because of a revelation. The Dead Sea Scrolls never mention Jesus. They don't contain any Gospels. They are Jewish texts. You get the indication that Jesus was accompanied by women throughout his journey in the way that a holy person would not normally be. You get the clear witness that the people who see the tomb are women, that the people who give witness to the resurrection of Jesus are women. You know, if this wasn't true, it wouldn't be reported that way. The New Testament refers to women as prophets. It refers to women who are participants in Paul's mission of spreading the gospel through the Greco-Roman world. 